So this is a Makino milling machine that I made some changes on, like installing a light curtain and two end bottoms on the uh, loading station. And those do not run to the uh, PM PMC because that, that cannot be edited. So I have to install a separate uh, controller because that's the main board right there. That's the uh, main controller. And it, can, it has now a modicum PLC here that I use for a number of functions like the uh, loading stage and uh, pallet sensing and hydraulic level monitoring. So this is the hydraulic unit on the Makino and I've added a pressure switch and a level switch uh, because the machine doesn't come with those. And those are needed uh, to warn the machine in case level drops too low, a pressure not available, and we have serious problems. Uh, the light curtain is handled by the external PLC, so uh, that's for safety measurements. So also, there is a uh, air pressure switch that I added to the uh, air cleaning system on the pallet changer that enables me to detect if the pallet is properly seated on the pallet changer uh, once the pallet has been changed so that's the pallet that's the uh, v-axis and this is where the pallet is grabbed so this air every time there's a tool change to detect if it's seated right also, I've added some sensors on the top where the pellet changer is, so I know if pellet 1 is out or pellet 2 is out, and those are prop switches. Originally, the machine came with limit mechanical switches uh, that, were, that were mounted underneath the pellet changer, and they were always uh, contaminated by coolant. In this machine, the parts are clamped using hydraulics. So you install, you insert an hydraulic coupling here in the fixture, and then you just press the bottom here to clamp the parts or unclamp them. And uh, originally, with the system came from Belgium, it had only relays on it. I've added a process uh, PLC to control it. A lot better than the Belgium one.